Hey again everyone, here's our next question. Before I start, I encourage you to pause the video and try this yourself. So in question A, we want to solve log base 3 to x plus log base 9 to x equals 12. And of course we want to find the value of x. The first thing we know is that we have different bases and we should try to make those the same. So base 3 is okay, so we'll write log base 3 to x plus now I recommend that we change log base 9 to x using the change of base rule. So we can write that as log base 3 x divided by log base 3 to 9. Now you can see that we've changed it to base 3. So let's write that again. We have log base 3 to x and divided by log base 3 to 9 which is 3 squared. So we can write that as log base 3 to 3 squared. This power 2 can now be brought to the front. That will give us log base 3 to x divided by 2 log base 3 to 3. Our identity rule tells us that log base 3 to 3 is equal to 1. So we have a half log base 3 to x. So now we can write that half, log base 3 to x equals 12. Then now both parts are base 3. These two terms can now be combined. So we'll have 3 on 2, log base 3 to x equals 12. So now we can multiply both sides by 2 on 3. And this will cancel. So we can write log base 3 to x equals 8. Therefore, x equals 3 to power 8. As a whole number, x will be equal to 6,561. So you can either write this as a power or as a whole number. That's your final answer. So in part b, we want to solve log base 4 to 3y squared minus 10 equals 2 times log base 4, y minus 1 plus a half. So one good thing here is that we have base 4 and base 4. We should try to change this number to base 4. So let's write down our question. Log base 4 to 3y squared minus 10 equals... Now what I'm going to do is use our power law to bring the 2 to the top. So we'll have log base 4 to y minus 1 squared plus a half log 4, 4, because log base 4 to 4 is equal to 1, and a half times 1 is half. So these are equal. So let's write down again. Log base 4, 3y squared minus 10, equals log base 4, y minus 1 squared, so with the last term, we'll raise the 4 to a half power. And 4 to the half power is 2. So we can write this down as log base 4 to 2. So the left side is still good, so we'll write that down. Log base 4, 3y squared minus 10. Now we can use our product rule to join these two terms. We can write log base 4 to 2 times y minus 1 squared. Now we have the same base, which means that this argument will be equal to this argument here. So now we can write down 3y squared minus 10 equals 2 bracket y minus 1 squared. So let's expand our quadratic. We have 3y squared minus 10 equals 2 bracket y squared minus 2y plus 1. Expand your bracket. We have 3y squared minus 10 equals 2y squared minus 4y plus 2. So our quadratic equation will reduce to y squared plus 4y minus 12 equals 0. When we factorise, our factors will be y plus 6 
y minus 2 equals 0. So we have two possible values for y. y equals negative 6 and 2. Now logarithms can't have negative arguments, so this value won't be valid. You can try that by substituting back into your question. So our only solution is y equals 2. I hope you got that answer. Thanks for watching.